Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then please. Never mind. So today we're gonna check out the all new 2022 Hyundai Tucson, and I kind of have a personal relationship with this car as my dad owned one and he still has it. It has around 300,000 kilometers on the Odo and is still staying strong. So I do have a personal relationship with this car. Now. In today's video, I will not be reviewing the car or giving buying advice, but we are definitely going to take a look at the cool, quirky and fun stuff about the new 2022 Hyundai Tucson. So let's jump in. Number 14. No fake exhausts. Yeah, you heard it right. Every sporty family SUV comes out with fake exhaust tips nowadays and I'm glad that Hyundai decided to stay original and show how it's really done. Number 13. Blind Spot Monitor The blind spot monitors appear inside the gauge cluster as soon as the indicators turn on, which is really a cool thing to see. However, at this point, they are available on most Hyundai, Kia and Genesis models. Number 12. Rare Occupant Alert Yes, that's now a feature. If you supposedly park the car and there is either a pet or a kid in the rear seat, then there is a slight warning to the driver in case they forget that there is a kid in the rear seat. I have one question to the whole of mankind. Who forgets their kids in the rear seat and if so why are such people even allowed to drive again? Anyway, that feature does exist and you can have it on your luxurious 2022 Hyundai Tucson. Number 11. Cool Instrument Cluster Animations and Shapes Hyundai has gone for a rectangular screen layout, be it the center console or the driver display unit, they all follow the same square pattern. And the animations inside these screens are really cool, especially when you change the drive modes. Number 10. Headlights and Taillights The headlights look really cool and if you check the global launch video, they do show an impression of the headlights as though they are the wings of the brand. But now, this specifically raises an interest among us because the Genesis brand logo is similar to this. Could Hyundai be hinting that the Tucson also indirectly belongs to the premium car garage? Well, we never know. Another quirky fact about the headlights is that they aren't the real deal. Yeah, that's true. Hyundai has gone through all that hard work and effort to make them look really cool, but they're non-functional. They're just DRLs. The huge bird wing-like lights are just for decorations and DRLs. The actual headlamps are way below in the fog lamp housing. Well, not much cool, but okay. The rear, however, seems to be copied from the Mustang Mark E, but it does still look glorious when it's lit up at night. Number 9. Impossible to use center console buttons. It may look modern and square and cool, but the center console buttons are really impossible to use. It is on a clean flush panel with no physical separation. If anything, drivers will be taking their eyes more off the road with the system to make sure they hit the right button. Number 8. Rear Badge It has been a long time since I've seen a company place its logo on the rear windshield. I mean, come on Hyundai. They went through all the trouble to make the rear look special, but they let it down by doing this with the brand logo. However, it is a consequence of the long rear LED bar, but it does seem out of the place. But one good thing with Hyundai is that they have tucked the rear windshield wiper under the rear spoiler and that looks flush. Number 7. Concept to Reality So, let's start from the concept car stage. It apparently seems that Hyundai is getting really good at bringing the concepts to life. The production version is pretty close to the concept in terms of all the body lines being in the right place and even they managed to retain the whole headlight and the daylight concept as well. This looks really futuristic and refreshing from Hyundai after a long break. Number 6. No hybrid colors. So, typically if there's a hybrid version of a car, the manufacturer makes sure that the owner is recognized for their hybrid option and they will put a huge colored green or blue line across the whole car. In this case, Hyundai has no such weird lines, it just has a simple hybrid badge on the rear trunk, which is good in my opinion compared to a huge blue line passing from the front end to the back end. Number 5. Indicators are too low. Yes, you would have already heard this from a lot of reviewers. This is something which most of them are told out by now. The indicators are placed very low in the rear bumper and would be a lot safer and helpful if it could have been integrated into the rear tail lights. All that space and no indicators is a shame. They could have done a cool sequential lighting pattern like the Mustangs, but they didn't go with it. Number 4. 
N-Line. The N-Line looks even meaner and performs well too. There are a lot of cool design touches making the overall car look more sportier and cooler but the fact that the N-Line comes with a bunch of over-designed rims is point of a concern. If someone asks how much is too much, please show them these rims. Number 3. The Santa Cruz No, those headlights just don't stop with the Tucson. They will also supposedly come out on the Hyundai Santa Cruz and possibly most of the Hyundai's new gen cars starting with the Santa Cruz. Number 1. AC Vents and their Relative Designs The amazing design of integrating the AC Vents into the interior design lines has worked out excellently and not only does the dash line continue from the dashboard to the front door panels but they go all the way back to the rear door panels and that is how continuity is maintained. 